make me feel like I can fly I'm in the ties with the things you say What's up YouTubers? It's Felicia here and I'm coming you today coming to you today with another video. So this video is kind of going to piggyback off my diva cut video that I had with um Felicia and Shy. So I'm going to see Felicia again and if you have not watched that video, I will link it down below so you can see my first experience with those two people. And so recently, I don't know how she got it, but she came across that video and she reached out to me about my hair and just my review and everything. And so she had mentioned like, you know, she would love to give me or she would love for me to give her another try. So I decided, hey, why not? So I'm going to go see her today. She now owns her own shop in Long Beach. Um, I will put more details there um, below too if you guys are interested in going to her shop because the diva shawn salon is now closed so she does have her own uh which is nice and good for her sorry it's stuff floating around um so i just wanted to show you a before before i go because i know last time i did not have a before and after with her because i just did not care for my hair nor did i care for her my end results with her so today like i did um wash it this morning and as you can see there is a little um definition in there i tried to um do it nicer this time because i know the last time that i went i just kind of washed it and let it dry and it was frizzed out so it looked like my hair had no definition no curl pattern so that today i tried to do it a little different or how i normally would do it so that, that she can see that my hair does have some kind of pattern some kind of definition and if i come out with less definition or a less cuter style than what i have right now then I think my tries are over with her like I think she's a great like I said before she's a great person she's um very personable she's friendly she's good at cutting but I don't know maybe she just can't get my hair to do certain things but I'm not gonna speak too soon so hopefully that doesn't happen because I do really like her and she's local um I was going to go to the curl factor because I'm on spring break so I was gonna go take a visit there but when she reached out to me I was like hey why not one more time um so yeah that's it that's all i wanted to do for an intro i don't know if i'll film there uh you know i'm a kind of still kind of shy to do stuff like that i don't know i don't know i don't like the camera sitting there just watching while everybody else is watching it's kind of like eh. but i will try to do certain stuff on my phone and then i will do a review after and um we'll see what happens so you guys stay tuned and in the next clip will be more information about my hair and then one more time this is what it's looking like. It's like kind of frizzy, but it's it's my look. So thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe. And I appreciate it. And see you guys soon. Bye-bye. What's up, YouTubers? I am back from my cut with Felicia. Let's see. Um, And I would say I like it this time. So her place is in Long Beach. And it's like a suite um it's just one chair it's not room for everyone to be in there but it is a decent size for her and her clients and if she wants to decorate it up or put like a fridge or whatever goes on in there she can do that um it's in a really nice building really really nice building um i don't remember the name of her company i think it's like capelli and perco i don't know i will try to put it all down below um, and I will also um, link her Instagram so you can see her work. But this time, um, it was way different for me. Like, she's really, really, really personable. And I love her personality. Um, and she's great um, at what she does. And so I explained to her that I wanted a more of a bang cut look. Um, I will put a picture right here to show you the kind of look that I saw on one of the girls on Instagram. And um, we did cut it short, but I feel like my hair is still elongated because of like, you know, the whole finger detangle and then just a fresh cut. Like it's not going to be how it was in the previous video that you've seen or I'll post it again. This right here, um, how my hair is just kind of like ringlets at the end um, because this part of my hair does curl pretty well um, and it will curl up so it should be shorter when i decide to wash my hair and do it and if it's not guess what i'm going to cut it myself um because 
I just want the little bang look. And if I mess it up, then I'm going to go ask her to fix it. That's that's all I'm going to do. Um, so it was it was nice what she did this time. She didn't have to follow the Divashon Salon rules. So she was able to use like a Denman brush and um, just take her time more so because we had a gap between the person that was coming after me. So it was nice because she took more time and she was able to uh, really do precise cutting and washing and conditioning um, on my hair. Um, and I just thought it was a way better experience than the first time. In the end, I do like my hair. Um, I do like my hair, but then there's always that first day hair that I never like in general. So Felicia, I like my hair. I just don't like day one hair. And whether I do it, you do it, anybody else do it, I just don't like it. And so for me, because it's not big enough, because it is a little more tamed right now, but I also have to take into consideration that we did cut about two inches off. Um, not curly, but yeah, about curly. I was hoping because instead of just getting a regular trim, I explained to her that my ends are knotting on themselves and they do it so frequently after my last cut that I feel like I need to chop more off. Um, so by the time the next cut comes, I have like a longer time in between where my hair is not just getting on my damn nerves. So she did like a healthy cut where you cut like more of it off. So I would say we cut, she cut maybe like that much off of like each piece or each around my head. And um, what else can I say? Uh, the products that she used, I think she, not only did she use, she did use the Diva Curl No Poo, um, and I think she used some Shea Moisture brand. So the good thing about her having her own business is that she can use whatever product she wants. Um, and for me, I feel like Diva Curl wasn't always the best because I just didn't really feel the difference. And I love Ozzy. Ozzy Moist, especially that three-minute deep conditioner, like is the business and that's what i always put in my hair i'll even sometimes leave it in my hair especially if i'm wearing a ponytail i'm gonna leave it in my hair so i would do that and then i didn't take any pictures of her um of her suite yeah i didn't take any pictures of her suite but it's like in a caddy corner and when you walk in there's like a mirror and then a table with her supplies and then the chair sits in front and then right behind that is um the wash head table and then in front of that is like a big window the whole other wall is a window so it's nice because it, you can get a view you see the cars walking by and then like it's just private so you can talk to her about anything or just you can just get real personable and feel personable and comfortable in there with her um and i also feel comfortable with her because she's just really cool like she's a cool cat and she was just nice um so i do plan on going back to her in three months um before she uh leaves or whatever whatever goes on i don't want to tell her business so if you know her you follow her you'll figure it out um so i don't want to do that but uh hmm i still do want to try the curl factor just because people rave about it and I'm since I'm like a guru type of person, not guru, but guinea pig, I just want to try it. I just want to see what the lady could do for me. Um, so I probably will try it. Um, with that being said, like this is my hair. I will try to show you guys like a close up of everything. And yes, it's just kind of like a quick video, kind of blog. Um, I mean, blog. And then this is the back. My hair is very frizzy um because it's always frizzy like i said i don't know i don't think there's anyone on this earth <laughs> that can get my hair to coil from the root to the ends i just feel like it doesn't because of the heat the he not the heat the color so what i decided to do is i told her that i wanted to dye my hair and because i want to go darker she agreed and she also used to color for six years so don't knock her on her skills man because she do everything um so i will go to her to get my hair cut um I mean cut colored and we're gonna do like an orangey brown i'll try to find the two pictures that i like the most um of the color and because i'll go darker it won't damage it also as she said it will seal the cuticle to where my hair may feel different and be able to uh, stay more hydrated because this brassy color as you can see it's like gold brown gold 
it just ain't doing it for me no more and it's causing my hair to be more matted and dehydrated than ever so i'm just over it so anyway that was my review for that um she charges 120 for returning customers and i mean 100 for returning customers and 120 for new customers so she's not a bad price and um for the quality time that you can get with her now in her own shop is is pretty good and don't forget she has to pay her bills keep her lights on keep her water running so i understand especially with your own business um with that being said, that is my review. If you have any other questions about my haircut, you can ask them or comment below. Um, don't be negative, guys, because people just do what they do and everybody's not going to get your hair perfect. My other review, I was a little angry, but that was because my hair was wet. This time, my hair didn't leave wet, so I was fine. Like I understand if you can't get it how I really want it because maybe I'm not being realistic. But anyway sorry to ramble i just wanted to give you guys a review on my second try i am pleased with it i'm happy that i got to go to her and i do plan on seeing her again whenever i need a cut um so like and subscribe thank you and as i said if you have any other questions or if you have any um any what is it any advice on with this color hair for me and keeping it hydrated or you know any other um curly head people that may be good to try to let me know because i will try them i will so you guys have a good rest of your evening night day midday whatever it is if you're at work have fun at work um yeah that's the end of my video i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.